Homemade water filtration is necessary according to data published by the World Health Organization. In 1993, there was a cryptosporidiosis outbreak in Milwaukee, USA, which caused 400,000 serious illnesses. The outbreak also caused 100 deaths, which were principally people with AIDS. The factors related to the outbreak are linked to where the water intake of the experimental coagulation system and the treatment works were located, which were ineffective and resulted in turbidity limits to be exceeded for some of the filters. This is why it is imperative that you have your own homemade water filtration system to protect yourself against an outbreak that can happen without warning. These statistics, among others, are reported in the Emerging Issues in Water and Infectious Disease Report by the World Health Organization. Access to safe water is a fundamental human need and therefore a basic human right. Contaminated water jeopardizes both the physical and social health of all people. It is an affront to human dignity, reports Kofi Annan, the United Nations Secretary General. A major cause of mortality and morbidity throughout the world is infectious water-related disease. A large portion of water-related disease is caused by pathogens like chloria and typhoid, along with new pathogens and new super strains of older established pathogens. These water-related pathogens are causing challenges for both public health and water sectors. There have been 35 new disease agents discovered between 1972 and 1999, along with pathogens that are re-emerging after years of inactivity, which are expanding into areas that they have not been reported in before. The book Toxic Cyanobacteria in Water that was edited by I. Corus and J. Bartram talks about cyanobacteria toxins that have become widely recognized as a growing health concern arising as a consequence of eutrophication, which happens when fresh water has excessive amounts of nutrients, typically from fertilizer runoff. There is the possibility of disease that is caused from ingesting or recreational contact with water that has been contaminated with cyanotoxins. Countries that have reported health issues that can be attributed to the cyanotoxins include Brazil, Australia, England, China, South Africa, and the USA. Public water supply systems that get water from a reservoir containing the cyanobacterial toxins can be pumped right into your home, which can be controlled with a homemade water filtration or outdoor whole house water filter system. The World Health Organization report states that in recent years there has been increasing concern to reduce the pollutants within urban stormwater discharges, particularly combined sewer overflows, or CSOs. Gibson et al., 1998, found Cryptosporidium oocysts and Gerardia cysts were commonly observed at higher levels in discharge from CSO end-of-pipe samples taken during wet weather conditions compared to concentrations in samples taken from an urban dry stream in dry weather. This preliminary study suggests that CSOs may significantly contribute to the load of Cryptosporidium and Giardia in ambient waters and source waters used for recreational use and potable water. Share this article to help others stay informed about the state of our water and subscribe to the Absolute Rights newsletter on the webpage to get information on survival and civil rights. www.170gallonsaday.com